Amidst all the nonsense coming these days from Donald Trump's Republican Party, we just got more proof that at least a few Republicans still have a sense of shame. In other words, even the grand old party may not be completely lost. Here's the background. The Republican National Committee is now spamming phones across America on behalf of new co-chair Lara Trump. Donald Trump's daughter-in-law. The scripted robocall spews lies about the 2020 election. And I'm sure you agree with co-chair Trump that we cannot allow the chaos and questions of the 2020 election to ever happen again. We all know the problems. No photo IDs, unsecured ballot drop boxes, mass mailing of ballots, and voter rolls chock full of deceased people and non-citizens are just a few examples of the massive fraud that took place. If Democrats have their way, your vote could be canceled out by someone who isn't even an American citizen. Well, GOP strategist Doug High is now hammering the RNC for sending out that robocall. On CNN, High pointed out the call is not only factually inaccurate, but it is politically self-destructive. He noted that the Republican Party used to have an edge on early voting and mail-in ballots, but has now, because of the Trump family, turned such get-out-the-vote efforts into something many Republicans associate with evil. This is voter suppression. It is Republicans suppressing their own votes. We saw it in Georgia with Trump's um, unsuccessful race there in 2020. And then we saw it with the Senate races when Donald Trump was out there saying, uh, your vote doesn't matter. It's been taken away from you. Everything that Laura Trump just said there, it's cost Republicans. Mitch McConnell and, and Republican leadership sure know this. And you, know, you talked earlier in the show about mail-in ballots. The second race I ever did, I, I would pinpoint our absentee ballot chase program um, on uh, credit on, on the victory. Locke Faircloth beat Terry Sanford because we had an amazing job of mail-in ballots. We would send absentee ballots to people and we would literally chase them on the streets until they returned it. It's why we won the race. Republicans have long had an advantage on this. And unfortunately, in deference to Donald Trump, as always, they're just giving it away. They are just giving it away. So why is the GOP giving it away? That is especially perplexing given that Donald Trump himself Votes with mail-in ballots often cast in advance of the election. <laughs> I explain that since Donald Trump attached himself to unsubstantiated claims of fraud in the 2020 election, mail-in ballots have been a key part of Trump's fear-mongering strategy. And everybody around Trump, including his family, keeps digging this hole deeper, even though some of them, including Lara Trump, keep insisting they are looking forward and not at the last presidential election. Just last week, Laura Trump said, oh, we're not focusing on that anymore. That's in the past. Clearly, that's no longer the case because it's currently the present. It, well, and yes. And <laughs> when you deal with Donald Trump, there's always the uh, you constantly have to uh, be at his side and loyal every step of the way because Donald Trump doesn't give points. He only takes them away one at a time. And that's true of family members as well. The problem is we've already seen for Republicans, we've already seen this play out. And as High noted, it plays out badly for the GOP because not only does the Republican Party ignore some get out the vote strategies, but Republicans then drive themselves nuts on election night because the Democrats get a big boost when the early ballots and mail-in ballots finally get counted. And instead of recognizing that those early ballots now favor Democrats, the Trump family and Donald Trump make wild claims of fraud that turn out to be total nonsense. And as a reminder, every claim of fraud the Trump family and Donald Trump put forward about the 2020 election night results suddenly moving towards the Democrats can be explained by the timing of when the early and mail-in ballots were finally counted and added to vote totals. Kudos to Doug High and some of the other never-Trump Republicans who are willing to speak the truth about the damage the Trump family continues to inflict on the GOP. All Americans should embrace early voting and mail-in ballots. It increases election voter participation, but increasing participation frightens many Trump Republicans. And so they resort to trying to suppress the vote and end up suppressing their own voters. The Republican Party would be wise to have more Doug High types in party leadership and fewer or no leaders named Trump. By the way, one of Donald Trump's fiercest supporters in Congress is Georgia's Marjorie Taylor Greene, and she is now getting blasted amidst claims that she is working for Russia. Moscow Marjorie is focused now on this Ukraine issue and getting her talking points from the Kremlin. Getting her talking points from the Kremlin. Moscow Marjorie. That is Colorado Republican Ken Buck talking about Marjorie Taylor Greene. We know that she is getting her talking points from Russia, and we know that they're false. This is a war on Christianity. The Ukrainian government is attacking Christians. The Ukrainian government is executing priests. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.